from the top. I really want to know what was up with what, what Katie's deal or yeah, Claire's deal was. All right. Wait, unlocked. Oh, Spirit of Cooking. Okay, that was the prequel game. I guess it unlocks after you start thinking about Emily. But okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna start from the top again. We know everybody likes protein, so we're gonna buy some protein. Lots of steaks. Keep it under ten bucks. I forgot about that thing. I forgot you could check the prices. Don't skip date. Yeah, don't stick skip shifts. We should do a lot better this time. That I, I want to complete Claire's run, if nothing else. But yeah, Q Spirit of Cooking is the free kind of prequel game that you can get on its own. One with Kalina. Alright, start hand the kitchen, skip intro. Five dollars. We want steaks. We we want a shit ton of salt and pepper. That's the primary thing. I'm buying all of your salt and pepper. I do not care. Said skip the tutorial. Alright, I, I wasn't ready yet. Alright, um. Meats, that's what I wanted. Okay, that's fine. Alright, uh, create edit recipes. New recipe. Salt and pepper. Again. At price. the stuff from before we're starting right from the top basically is the deal here so both proteins are with the same price that feels good Actually, let's get gimmicky here. Lucky potato. Okay. So that's really all we got. Go for it.
And we served everyone. Awesome. Although, somebody went away with nothing. Probably because we ran out of chicken. Alright, um... Okay. That's fine. A, de a decent first go, though. Getting late. Ain't got no food. Right in my bedroom. Time for sleep. Right, how's our salt and pepper supply? Hey. Oh, I forgot you talked to everybody. Paul's Lisa. Paul's ex Lisa. Should have. Maybe she's just a customer and walked behind there for no reason, but that's pretty silly. Of course she works there, and of course they need to deal with her. Luckily there's a customer in front of me, so I have time to prepare myself for how I should handle the whole thing. Last person expected, I expected to see behind that counter was Lisa. First I feel sort of shocked to watch her casually smile at the person in front of me. Hey, how'd the party go? Well, the spices you the spices you recommended for her carrot cake really did the trick. I'm glad. Lisa laughs pleasantly, and I can't get over how different she is from what I remember. Of course, it isn't like I was friends with her before. I wasn't ever around her with Paul. Even when she and Emily became friends, I never really talked to her outside of double dates. Maybe she always has been a personal and friendly. Or she's very good at faking it. I'm assuming the latter. When she and the customer finish their brief chat, she stays a moment to check her register. I remember some of her sudden sour shit and attitude as I bring my items forward, but instead I can see her every smile. So she really saw who I was, anyway. Apparently, she looks more embarrassed than bitter. Oh, uh, hey, you want, the, you want to buy this stuff? I nod her firmly and make only briefest eye contact to confirm what, what I I want what I brought up. I start to consider if there's any way I can make uh, my food with uh, spices. She doesn't really like me much, huh? She doesn't honestly expect me to answer that, does she? I can't really blame you. I'm not a huge fan of who I was either. Oh yeah, that's right. She broke up with Paul at the, like, towards the end of the, uh, the prequel game. She looks up at me and tosses another smile in my direction. So you decided to stay in town, huh? I just rolled my eyes at her if I don't answer the question. And I don't want to be that rude. She seems to be putting up she seems to be putting in a genuine effort to be nice. Well the restaurant is here, so yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. Paul must be thrilled. Before I react, Lisa realized what she just said and backpedals. Oh, sorry, you probably don't think I should be talking about Paul. I guess I shouldn't. I just remembered that he seemed pretty thrilled with the idea of opening a restaurant with you as all. Well. What? Paul and I never talked about that. Had he maybe mentioned the idea in passing or something? Lisa did tend to cling on to tiny details like that. I didn't open it with Paul. Really? I th thought since you and Emily broke up, you'd. Oh, jeez, I'm just making things worse. Oh, you have a good recipe for feet? I said Lisa, which makes her shift uncomfortably. Right, well, um, thanks for coming by. Guess we've seen a lot of you now, huh? I guess so. I didn't even try to hurt my, hide my curtness. The guy's a dick! Hi. I get my items and leave. I feel a little bad for being rude like that, but I just don't know how to, or even want to, deal with this right now. I wonder if Paul marks up the prices of the vegetables if you start dating his ex. That'd be hilarious. Okay, um... How's he doing business? Can't talk to her yet. For help. Let's buy. Let's go in. On potato. 69 cents. Nice. I guess it just always starts in 2015 because that's when the game came out. Alright. Alright, 95.35. Good stuff. Hey there. Salt and pepper check. Oh, I do not want ginger. Oh, they're out of stock. Okay. I bought all the salt and pepper. I 
How's our potato stash? We got one left. I'll grab a couple. These early days are going to be rough. But again, if we get through the first, if we don't make it the first week, you get bailed out. After that, not so much. Alright, hope. Can't talk to him. Alright, cool. Oh, it's an easier goal the first week, too. How did I blow two, a $200 goal the first time around? Alright, uh, check menu. Only only one potato left. Oh, well, if we're gonna get meat, I'm gonna need to uh, go a little heavy. That should hold me. Shifts. Potato, potato. Get there. What the music is there? Go up and if nothing we're out of. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Oh, we only serve four of ten. Sorry. Nobody wanted potato, potato, potato. Rise is the price of life. When I enter the familiar shop, my eyes fall in and I immediately freeze. Lisa isn't exactly my favorite person, but we've been getting along well enough since the opening of the restaurant. Fortunately, today it isn't just Lisa standing at the counter. 100% Emily. Oh shit, I forgot about this part. My ex, Emily. Well, oh. I watched Lisa awkwardly recover by clearing her throat and speaking again. Welcome. Lisa's greeting had brought Emily's attention to me as she looked over her shoulder to see me standing absently in the doorway. Her expression in that moment was clear she was trying to figure out her next step, too. We're both adults. I did the same as Lisa clearing my throat before walking towards the counter. Clearly, Emily has something to say to me. Hi, Lisa. Emily. I tried to keep my voice as pleasant as possible while addressing her, but the sting of our breakup is still pretty fresh. Emily makes an attempt at smiling, but she's obviously uncomfortable. So? I watch her. She struggled to pick the right words to say to me. Honestly, I feel exactly the same. I know we didn't part of returns, but we shouldn't avoid each other, right? She attempts to smile again, a little more successful this time. She's right. It's childish, childish of us to continue to act this way. I return her smile. Yeah, you're right. I the back of my neck. Man, this is harder than it seemed in my head. We are adults. It's good to see you again. Yeah, you too. You were good. I blush but smile. This one feels more genuine. It's hard to feel like before we broke up when she was easy to talk to. You look great too. I spent a few more minutes making small talk with each other and Lisa. Clear from Lisa's lesson of his expression that we better hurry up and make our purchases. And we seem to notice this too when we get to a point. I know it's weird, but I was hoping I might run into you again soon. Oh? Yeah, we had said we might come back to well, our relationship at a later point before. But I think it would be a good idea to work on a friendship before that, don't you? It does make sense. It would be hard to pick up where we left off as he did as things. It would be hard to pick up where we left off with as heated as things got in the end. Yeah, I can see your point. What do you have in mind? I only smiles brightly at this, and I know it's genuine. I can't help but mirror her expression. So we could hang out sometime. I miss you, or... Face lights up bright pink, and I can't resist thinking how cute it is. I mean, not just a relationship, but a... You know, like your company. He's still recovering from being flustered, and it's adorable. Dude, no. Dude, no. No, I get it. I feel the same. I was a friend as much as a partner. Yeah, exactly. Lisa suddenly clears the again. I realize we've been ignoring her almost the entire time. It's great for you and all, but I'm working right now, so I need you to either buy something or at least move out of the way. Oh, uh, right. Emily collects her purchases and receipt from Lisa before looking back to me. Well, I'll get out of the way. I need to get back anyway. I'm serious about hanging out, though. Just call me when you're free. Yeah, of course. Emily smiles and gives me a small wave before she turns and leaves the shop. Sorry about that, Lisa. 
Better this is unapologetic and mean it. Last thing I want to do is make Lisa more annoyed. Fine, what did you need? Salt and pepper. I needed salt and pepper. Getting some potatoes. Never mind. We served everybody, so I had something left. Maybe it was potatoes. We got potato. Okay. salt and pepper in? No, okay. So, we will, I've been wiping her out for the day on that, so cool. Actually, go back. Or, nope, not that. How's our potato stash? Potato, potato. Alright, now we're starting, to, we're, starting, we're starting to keep a little money now, it's feeling, it's feeling good. Served everybody, good stuff. So this is the evening, so we gotta stock up now. Take all your chicken, thank you. Sorry. Scoop that, buy stuff. Should be fine for now. Yeah, broccoli hasn't even happened yet. Okay, cool. Big money, no whammies. Got some whammies. I don't think I ran out of everything. Getting late. I think I mostly just ran out of proteins. Nobody wanted potato, potato, potato. I guess I didn't run into her the last time I played, so I, she didn't get added to my list. We ain't here to think about Emily. That's my spepper. Still out, okay. That's my inventory on spepper. You're, oh crap. That's bad. That's bad. All right, we're gonna have to get a little experimental. What's your next cheap, cheapest spice? Ginger it is.
if you're creative. Um, how the hell do you run out of salt and pepper? literally just going to be a plain steak, no seasoning. recipe right, what do you got for veg here see if I can make this work some onions on it, that's flavor. Alright, right, I'm trying to think of an onion pun. Alright, hop. Alright, hop. Layered layer, just chicken's legs. Peach price. Ginger and carrot. I'm trying to like. Doop, 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 doop. I think that's how you spell beta carotene. Well, obviously, pun. Alright, uh, set price.
worth a shot. All right. Um. Sometimes we will buy an unseasoned steak. I'm into it. Oh, let's talk to Claire. Now we're back on the route that I wanted to be on. As Claire idly chats with me about cheap chicken quality, I can't help but notice she looks a bit cuter today than usual. Weird thing to think about while having a conversation on mechanical processing. Maybe it was the way she was smiling at me. It was the kind of smile that made her eyes soften like melting, cho melting chocolate. Or maybe it was how she kept laughing at all my jokes, even the stupid ones that made her seem more attractive. Maybe now she kept finding ways to touch my hand while we were talking. Wait, is she flirting with me? Conversation probably should have taken a pause in there since I couldn't think of anything to say, but Claire didn't really notice my sudden silence. I mean, cellulose is just a fancy word for wolf, wood pulp. They put that stuff in plastic. It's good for you, but our bodies aren't used to eating wood. They're used to eating real meat with fat. Your brain, brain is made of fat. We need to think. We needed to think. I'm pretty sure we did this in the first run, so I'm just gonna kind of skip through this. Sorry. Until we get some new stuff. Really, I remember reading cellulose had some more fiber than you, which is supposed to be good for people who can't afford meat that isn't cheap. They just don't get enough fiber. Like pouring floor in the water. All good intentions dressed up as excuses. Very true. Did she say that? Okay. We really heard about that. Big deal back in the I remember hearing Grass talk about it all the time. Not quite a obvious plot to undermine floor, ho floor uh, public health, but it is basically toxic. Well, toxic waste in higher doses. So, I had to do something with it. Allegedly. I don't get as worked up about the floor, I think, but... I believe him. What if? I want some olives. Can I buy olives here? That ripped off some receipt paper and something over handing it to me. The digits. The size of his phone number. If by shop you mean sell, then yes, it is. She's, this, this is why I went for the first place. She's just like... They never rest a man out. You know. It's too powerful. Alright, um. Buy some chicken and stuff. Oh, we're out of chicken. So, chicken's coming off the menu. Or steaks, I guess. Afternoon, so we're gonna, oh. All right, and then how's our veg looking? Those sold, so I'll tell you. I'll give you some onions too. Oh wait, we don't need more onions. I don't have any more chicken. Ah, oh! <laughs> I'm so bad at this. All right, ginger, or did you get some salt and pepper in? Nope, ginger it is. I meant to do a ginger tofu thing, didn't I? Or no, I, I do want to be here, yep. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. So the chicken's got to come off again. And then go back. Tofu. Ginger. Try to think of tofu puns. Change price. I 
I'm basically trying to get some more of the health uh, options here. So yeah, all right. All right, uh, check menu. What we got? It's better than nothing. Oh, we're right. Oh, the Vital White's moving. All right, Tofu Town. We live there now. Tofu is good. All right, go back. What I got left here? Proteins, proteins. Got a couple tofus left. They're moving. Steak's going fine on its own. Shower me in protein. should hold me for two shifts, I hope. Oh, wait. Buy more ginger. Pushing it, but two shifts we should do pretty well, though. Okay, I hope. And served. There's going to be some overlap with the ginger, though, but I think we make it work. Hell yeah, everybody's still served. We did it. Any late? And now we're not skipping any days. All right. Call it Claire. Yeah, yeah, we did this on the first run, so I'm kind of skipping the stuff we've done before. Maybe her and her dog. Kind of said she doesn't have the scarf when you see her later, but... I just like dogs, don't really trust them either. That I agree with, totally, all right. Take a shower, smells of flowers. Didn't mean to rhyme that, sorry. Try to get to making the money so we get back on track to where we were with the sauce. This is the whole Norse mythology thing where we learn about the dog's name Garm. The dog is named Garm. Why can't this guy remember the name Garm? He's also in the metal music and classical covers of metal. You know the reason I like her. Or for the former and the latter, but yeah. Cafe, yeah, cool. bye. Don't go to Emily's place. Wait here to make her jealous. Okay, let's get to where I botched before. But did you get salt and pepper back in? Yeah. But I'm gonna keep. I'm probably gonna keep the some of the some. I'll keep the tofu ginger on. So we'll just, uh, are there any steaks left? Yes, okay, we got one. I can sell that. And then after this first opening, I can come back and buy some more. That's fine. And, oh, add the, uh, add one of the chickens back. Dusty chicken? Dusty chicken. I have onions. Hold on. Oh yeah, if we got onions, let me put that on. Then 
of 10. Good stuff. We get more stakes in. Chicken's moving though. Okay. Oh, we're out of onions, so pull the layer, layer off and we'll do the other, uh, the dusty chicken. That's the plan. That's the plan. We got the plan. Uh... stuff. Ran out of chicken again. Get low on tofu. Decent on seasoning, so I'm not going to worry about those. So grab some onions and proteins. In case I have to switch over to the layered layer. So much protein. It's what's moving, so. Just chicken all the way down. I'll take it, I'll take the money, but. Alright, check menu, we're out of it. We're out of dusty chicken, we're out of chicken, so. The steak's on there. I think I want to put the other steak on there, though. How much salt and pepper do we have left? 19, yeah, let's put the other, let's put the more expensive steak on there. Dusty chicken is off because we're out of chicken. And we'll put potato, potato back on there because we got it. We got some tofu left. Okay, cool. And yeah, we're, we're, we're at goal. Awesome. Still got to spend a little bit, but it's going to be pushing it. But I think we'll be alright, though. Well, I said before I do a goal. Got the cash now. Hold on to it. Don't spend it all on ingredients. Yep. The high of Claire. This is the cafe thing with the movie. We did this. Gotta go fast. At some point, we need to do like a, just a month or a run where I just go through all the visual novels that I have sitting around that I actually liked. I like a bunch of them. Although that's like a, not like a diss on the genre. But like this, I kind of want to see all the roots, especially since, you know, I helped kickstart it. Uh, what else? Uh, Arcade Spirits, especially before, the, we got to get that done sometime this year before the next, the, before the sequel comes out. Um, what else? Blah, blah, Claire's and Emily. 